Most entrepreneurs think if you work harder, work longer, you are more deserving of success. Friend, that's not the way entrepreneurship works. It relatively does not matter how much time and effort you put into the business if it's not in the right things. So many entrepreneurs come to me overwhelmed, stressed, and they're just trying to figure out how to move the needle. And the unfortunate thing is that many of us, and you're not alone, I get it, I've been there too, fall victim to this hustle mentality. If we just work a couple extra hours, we learn a new skill, we do this, we do that, we get on all these platforms, we do video, we do podcasts, we do create this, we create that, that that's how you get success. But the unfortunate thing is this could actually be holding you back from the success that you want so bad. So say it with me. Busyness is not business. One more time. Busyness is not business. Let's take, for example, some of these gurus that we see. And let's be real. I'm also a business coach. That's what I'm here presenting this, my podcast, and everything for. So I could kind of fall into the crowd a little bit as I talk, but I will show you the difference at the end. Let me ask you about all these gurus and coaches and consultants and everything you see online. They're constantly posting. They're telling you you have to have this hack and do this and do that. You get so overwhelmed, first of all. But second of all, are they actually succeeding in their business? Or have they subscribed to this hustle culture mentality? Because hustle does not equal success. Does it mean you need to work hard? Yes. Do you need to work strategically? Yes. But the mere act of putting in hours does not mean that you're going to have more success. The mere act of learning a new skill does not mean you're going to have success. Insert anything there. Long hours, responding to clients 11.59 p.m. at night so they can wake up to an email, changing your Instagram bio as opposed to paying attention to a family event. These things are not going to drive your business forward. They're not going to move the needle. And you may be sitting there thinking, oh, I don't fall into any of that. But if you at all are feeling overwhelmed, stressed, you're not spending the time in your life with yourself, with your family, your community around you, then you are falling into this hustle culture mentality. And I'll tell you what, the majority of people you see out there telling you about quick fix and tricks, they're also subscribing to the hustle culture. They're not happy. They're not at the level of success that they want to be. Why? Because this mentality keeps us back. Think about it. If the idea that you work more and work longer, then you'll have success is true, then why is everyone on social that's doing this not successful? Why are they overwhelmed, stress, and burnout? Because they're not doing the things they need to create a business that is a supporting actor for their life. I'm going to give you a little tidbit. I was there before. I get it. I'm not sitting here in some ivory tower looking down. I understand how overwhelming it can be. And you're just trying to make a go at this entrepreneurship thing. I get it. I'm there with you, friend. But I'll tell you what, I was at a breaking point and many of you are as well. So listen to this. Simplify down to scale up. You don't need to be on every social media platform. You don't need to have 1,500 offerings. You don't need to have a bazillion clients. You don't have to have more to achieve more. In fact, scaling back, niching down, simplifying your offer, simplifying your system, simplifying where you focus your efforts is going to move the needle so much further than right now when you are so focused in the weeds of this hustle, 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 that you're probably not happy, you're probably overwhelmed, you're not being as effective as you could. And honestly, what is the point in entrepreneurship if we're not getting to live the life that we want? Again, business should be a supporting actor to that. Business should be a supporting actor to our lives. We should not be living to work or working to live. We should simply have entrepreneurship, fulfill our purpose in the world, make some money in the process, seek opportunities, gain opportunities, but at what cost? And if you're trying to do all the things, you're going to be so focused in doing all the things, you're not going to be succeeding at all the things. So let me ask you, do you really want to stay where you're at? Because nothing changes if nothing changes. You have to make the change to pull yourself out of this overwhelm, to get out of this hustle culture, and to simplify down so you can scale up in all that you're doing. 
say it again, simplify down so you can scale up in all, and hopefully it'll be less things that you're doing so you can be more effective. You want to create a real business to have a real life. You don't want your business to run you. And think about it this way too. We are are often all in entrepreneurship because we feel a purpose and a burning. If you're so focused on the busy work and the busyness of business, you're not gonna be effectively fulfilling your purpose in this world. You're not gonna be able to serve others, serve yourself, serve your family, serve your community. You're gonna be stuck updating WordPress plugins, updating your Instagram bio, posting 1500 times a day on Instagram. Those may be pieces to help fulfill your purpose, but they're not actually gonna drive it forward. So let's simplify down, scale up, let's make the change so you can get closer to creating that real business so you can have a real life.